Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode. And this one should be kind of an interesting one. We've got a bit of a Hot Wheels medley going on here. So this is going to be really just 10 random castings that I have like one-off examples of. We're just going to open them up, talk about them a little bit. And so let's just get started. This is number one. This is the 35 Cadillac or the 35 Classic Caddy. Um, this is a casting that's been around for a long time. Um, here it is in the Cars of the Decade series, which actually was last seen. Uh, I think this is the last time this has ever been released was in that series, this Cars of the Decade series. Um, it's a nice little uh, Cadillac. Uh, we got metal base, metal body on this one. Uh, I think they've all been basically that. Um, yeah, it was a uh, 82 mainline debut. It's been released a bunch of times. California Customs, uh, 95 Treasure Hunt. Um, yeah, and then last seen here. So there's a lot of different variations of this car out there. If you like um, this car and you would have fun collecting it, uh, there's, there is a ton of them out there. So uh, there is that just to take a quick look at. And... It's a nice old school casting, pretty much all metal, so that is that is pretty cool. So there is that. Alright, next up we got another Cadillac. This is a custom 59 Cadillac. And it's a pretty cool casting. Again, we got a Cars of the Decades piece here. Uh, this was a 2002 mainline debut is when this was first seen. It was released uh, quite a few times since then, I believe, and uh, it was last seen in here, the Decade series. I don't think it's been used since. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's a pretty cool Cadillac casting. It's uh, dropped really low. Um, this one looks nice in this emerald green. Uh, so 2012 is when this Decade series came out. So this is when this this was here. Just take a look. Let me take a look at the card art. Um, there's the ones in the series there, or at least in that wave. So there's that. That Fox Body Mustang is pretty cool. Uh, 69 Camaro is always a classic. But yeah, so anyway, um, this one been released quite a few times. Pretty cool little caddy. Drop low, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, that's that. That's that guy. All right, so this one's a real oddball casting. This is the Hot Tub. It's a goofy casting. Um, it is pretty cool though, because the reason why I really like it, first of all, it's like all metal except for the actual hot tub itself. Um, that motor is pretty awesome. And I guess now that I've got this out, if I got something close and accessible, I wanna show you a goofy custom of mine real quick. Hope you don't mind. We don't normally do this on the 10 Car Tuesday episodes, but this is a custom that I made with a hot tub. I made Snoopy in a hot tub. Kind of a Christmassy looking custom, uh, but I don't know. I was happy with this one. I thought it turned out kind of cool, a goofy little thing. And then with the motor, uh, the motor on it, I made another goofy custom of a Volkswagen Beetle with the motor in the back, that huge motor in the back. This little guy right here. I thought that was pretty awesome too. Just wanted to show you those two. But anyway, the hot tub's a cool casting. You could do some stuff with it customizing wise, and it's very heavy. It's very heavy in metal and works good for downhill racing. So if you're into that, uh, this is a this is a car that works pretty well for that. And this is on faster than ever wheels. Uh, so it's pretty cool. This was uh, released in 2006 originally. Lots of holiday releases and all that, but uh, that's enough about the hot tub. So there's that one. And then we get the Sheriff Patrol in the Flying Custom Series. This is such a classic casting. This was out in 1982. Originally, this is like a retooling of it, I believe, for the Flying Customs series. And I don't think there's any other releases of this retool. So the Flying Customs came out in 2013. Uh, nice pearlescent uh, paint there. Hot One style wheels. Uh, but the Sheriff Patrol was released, I think, from like 82 to about 97 before they stopped releasing it. And then they retooled it, I think, in 2013 for the Flying Customs series. Your standard uh, police car. So that's it's not a bad one. It's kind of a nice casting. Again, very heavy metal base, metal body. Um, 
But yeah, it was released a lot of times in basic uh, police car style um, paint jobs. Uh, so there's that. Then in this one, the Panos LMP-1 Roadster S. Uh, this is kind of an interesting one. This this was in the 2001 mainline originally, and then it was a 2002 treasure hunt, which is what you're looking at right here. It's pretty cool, except for these goofy graphics on it. Treasure hunt 2002. You got real rider tires, but the thing doesn't roll. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, the tires have tread on them, which is not really appropriate, I don't think, for this. It should probably have slicks. Um, it was in the 2003 mainline as well as a Hall of Fame series in the 2010 five pack, and that's it. So this thing really hasn't been released a bunch of times. And it's not very exciting for a race car, I don't think. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below, but I don't know, I guess it's all right. Kind of goofy looking though, panos. You don't see, uh, not too many panos Hot Wheels. This might, only be, this might be the only one. Uh, so there is that doesn't roll that's kind of disappointing all right here's one that probably should roll the dw1 uh this is actually the indie oval so it was just seen 2018 as a super treasure hunt with golf livery very cool um this one came out in 2012 along with its mainline debut in 2012 labeled as an indie oval this dan weldon uh tribute car is uh pretty neat uh just to take a look I'm going to read that. In memory of two-time Indy 500 winner, Hot Wheels friend, Dan Weldon. Uh, so you can check that out. So this was released in his honor. And uh, it was kind of like, a, I guess it probably was kind of like a super treasure. or Whatever, it was released in the main line, I believe. I don't really know too much about it because I wasn't collecting it in that time. But it's got Spectre Flame paint. It's got your real rider tires. And it's a cool little piece. Um, so a pretty neat one. It wasn't labeled as a treasure hunt or anything, but Supers were out in 2012. So, But yeah, it wasn't released too much. You got the, this, the 2012. Well, it had a bunch of different liveries in the 2012 Indy Racing Series. Because it is an Indy car, basically, of that style. And uh, so it was released a bunch there. And uh, yeah, so... There is that little guy. I think that's kind of a cool one. So that'll go nice with the Indie Oval Super. The Indie Oval Super looks really, really, really cool, though. I like that a lot. All right. Uh, another kind of, this is a Formula One car. The Terrell P34. Terrell, uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. For some reason, I never get that right. Flying Customs. Uh, this was originally in the 2010 main line. It was 2012 T-Hunt and then 2013 Flying Customs. And I believe that is it. And this may be the only one that's got all metal construction. It's got a, a metal base, metal body, uh, metal dude, and kind of some wacky graphics. This was a definitely an interesting Formula One car. Uh, check it out. Check out pictures of it. It did race. It raced. Um, I don't think it lasted very long, but it, it did race in Formula One. I think it was the only six-wheeled car that actually participated in a real race i am not i don't quote me on that but um look it up if you're interested in it but it it, it was a real car it is pretty cool uh to have it in hot wheels form and uh just an interesting kind of thing so the idea was i think behind the two wheels was really they wanted two small wheels so it could still grip the road uh but it it uh, i guess reduced drag across the wheels so i think is what it was so some sort of aerodynamic thing i think is the reasoning behind it uh somebody who's a formula one aficionado let me know in the comments down below uh so there's that one we got a keeper keeper truck in here we got uh, the next one is an austin healy uh, this one you haven't seen too much either uh 2000 mainline 2001 mainline this is a 2001 mainline uh, I've seen, I don't know, a few times in between it in the Boulevard series. The Boulevard series was the last time this casting has been used, to my knowledge. Um, this one is a partially metal base. It's got like that metal chassis to it. It's really skinny. And then the interior part is this chrome piece. So that's interesting construction for Hot Wheels. They haven't really done that too much. The chrome piece is obviously part of the engine and the part of the interior. 
Not all the interior though. So very interesting construction for a Hot Wheels. And it is kind of an interesting looking car. I don't think it's the prettiest car ever. It's got nice kind of curves to it, like your older uh, sports cars of this era, but to me, it, I don't know, the front end, I can't really get into. And uh, yeah, so there you go. And then uh, we got two more to go here. This is number nine. We got the Fiat 500 or the Fiat 500S or whatever it is. This is a 2006 piece here. I just pulled this one out. It's just kind of kind of an interesting kind of top fuel car or whatever it is. Um, so this one was 99 mainline. It's been released a bunch of times. This one again is the 2000, 2008 one. Uh, it was last seen in 2014 as a Valentine's car, but just kind of a goofy casting. But again, this is a cool one for uh, customizers because it has a lot of little pieces and parts that you can use to kind of um, modify cars with. You've got uh, the motor uh, with these side pipes here. Uh, you got a big kind of crazy spoiler. And uh, so that kind of makes it something that can be used, a parachute pack in the back. Um, this one does have a metal base. So it's metal base, metal body. Uh, just kind of an interesting little car that you can use some parts from. Uh, for customers so interesting little little casting there and then lastly and this one is actually probably my i'm going to say this might be my favorite of the group this is the 1976 chevy chevette uh, this one has only been released twice in flying customs and in the hot wheels classics and i think that's it for it um we'll go ahead and open it up so this is the, the these cool classics were out in 2014 this one this series was and here this is. Love that Spectra Frost paint job. Got a wheelie bar on it. Uh, the cool classics were a series with plastic tires that I don't think sold very well just because they were sold as premium cars, even though they were only like three bucks a piece. I bet you if they came out with something like this now, they probably would sell. Of course, people prefer rubber tires on their vehicles. And full deco. This one, the Cool Classics did not have full deco, although they had some pretty nice uh, looking decoration. And they were all this kind of like, they call Spectra Frost, which is really kind of like an anodized look, looking uh, finish. Like a satin, satin finish. And uh, I think it looks cool. These retro slot wheels is what they call them, which is a wheel that I believe is still unique to the Cool Classics series. I don't think they've ever been used in anything else. Um, but yeah, kind of a neat little car. So I did get only two versions of this one to collect, one in flying, uh, the Flying Customs, which has some wacky kind of old school looking graphics, and then one in this Cool Classics. And this one has metal body, metal base, uh, got a roll cage in there. And overall, it's fairly cool, so. I dig it. All right, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I think my favorite is between this one and maybe this Dan Weldon Indy car. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what your favorite one was in the uh, comments down below. I always like to hear which uh, version you like best. This is kind of an oddball episode of 10 Car Tuesday, but had to do something with these, uh, these castings. So we went ahead and just took a look at them all in one video. So there you go. And that's it. All right. Well, have a good day. We'll see you in the next one.